Title, Crash and Capture, Ex-Lover Drama Turns Parking Lot into a Movie Scene. TL, DR, Ex-Boyfriend Goes Trigger Happy on Former Flame and Her Friend in a Parking Lot, Only to End Up Crashing His Escape Vehicle and Being Nabbed by Alert Citizens and Cops. But. Why? In the peaceful town of Saline, yesterday afternoon took a wild twist. The ordinarily calm streets saw a drama unfold that no one saw coming. So, you know how love stories end with happily ever after? Not this one. The story begins with a 40-year-old woman, our leading lady, taking a casual walk to her car after work with her 55-year-old male friend. They were probably discussing weekend plans or the weather. However, life had a different plot in mind. Her 58-year-old ex-boyfriend decided to turn this serene scene into a thriller. Out of nowhere, he opened fire, injuring both. One wonders, what went so wrong in their past? But wait, the action wasn't over. The suspect dashed to his vehicle, looking to make a quick escape. As adrenaline raced, so did the wheels of justice. With a description of the road car, a sharp-eyed Washtenaw County Sheriff's deputy picked up the chase. And what's more cinematic than a car chase ending in a crash? But, this ain't no Hollywood movie. After crashing into another unsuspecting vehicle, Mr. Runaway tried to play the footloose game. Thanks to a brave witness, though, his grand escape plan was foiled. They kept the suspect in check until our sheriff's deputy swooped in and made the capture. Let's face it, this is real life. Unlike movies, there are real consequences. Tragically, our leading lady couldn't make it, passing away from the injuries. A life full of promise, dreams, and hopes brought to an abrupt end. Our hearts go out to her family and friends. What makes someone so desperate, so angry, that they resort to such measures? Relationships are complex, but resorting to violence is a murky abyss. As readers, we can only try to understand the depths of human emotion, the choices made, and the events that lead to such tragic conclusions. And in doing so, perhaps we can find ways to prevent these stories from ever becoming our reality. So, what do you think was running through the suspect's mind at that moment? What can we, as a society, do better to prevent such heartbreak and chaos? Disclaimer, this article does not provide recommendations or advice. The information provided is factual and based on the provided news story. It's essential for readers to approach such matters with caution and awareness.